Hi guys! Oh my goodness, I have no idea why this is so red, but... <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna do it. Um, completely forgot to vlog the entire day because I was... I was really trying to finish the track for February. So, as you guys know, last year I wanted to publish one track per month, which was an epic fail. Couldn't do it. Only did a couple singles and EPs. Um, I was really disappointed in myself. But at the same time, I realized things always takes longer than you expected. So it is what it is. But this year, I'm gonna do it because I know I can. It's just a matter of if I can conquer my mind because, you know, we have a lot of silly first world problem to worry about. Being said that, um, I know some of you are aware of what I'm going through with my current tenants that's in Toronto. Um, I'm back in London, by the way. Um, basically, it's my fault. It's always my fault. I'm just gonna think anything goes wrong, it's my fault, so that I don't get in the habit of blaming people. So what happened was, I did not take care of the meta at first by myself. I asked my real estate agent, real estate agent to take care of it for me. Um, the whole thing just gone worse because there are some procedures done in a wrong way and I wasn't aware of and by the time wait where am I going wow this is this is crazy just want to make sure I'm not lost I'm in Greenwich London by the way if you guys are curious um, I love Greenwich it's beautiful um, okay now I'm super yellow <laughs> So, by the time I realized it gone really wrong was when I was told that the tenant has filed a complaint. So we have a hearing coming up next month. It's not that I am scared of the hearing. It's more about I'm annoyed for the fact that I have to fly back to Toronto just for that. Because I just build this working momentum here in London. Like I settle down with the gear here in London and I'm just in the zone of making a track per month. Um, a track per month is under my name and Floating Spaces is still going on obviously. But I always want Floating Spaces project to be more like a singable track instead of under my name. It's just crazy experimental because I love it. It's just very fun and free and you guys know it. So um, yeah. I was so proud of, okay, I finally just owning it, living in two continents. And I can finally just really make music this year because last year there were, there were more family issues. And sorry, I just need to remember where where I'm, um, wait, should I go? I think the water, the water is the other way. So, um, 
Oh, by the way, it's so quiet in this area. Like, there's like, I haven't seen, oh, okay. There's one car drove by, but usually I don't see any human beings, which is like kind of, hmm, black mirror-like setting. Sorry if I'm rambling this vlog. That's because I'm really stressed out. And I know I haven't been talking to you guys for quite a while. And I always feel even more stressed when I don't update my little internet family. Um, I was gonna vlog earlier, but I didn't because I was so stressed to the point that I was literally crying every day for a week and I just didn't want to put out that kind of energy because um, you guys know I like to be positive AF <laughs> um, but sometimes you're just stressed out and there's nothing you can do human being that's awkward like I'm holding a camera like I'm an insane person oh yeah speaking of I even thinking about going to see a therapist and then I check the price oh my goodness guess how much that is guys one session I think it was like okay you can do Skype session which is 20 was it 25 pounds for 15 minutes or something or you can do a walk-in like a face-to-face -face. and that would cost you 400 something pounds if I'm not mistaken that's around like 500 600 something maybe that's the usual price but I was like okay I better go crazy then spend that kind of money because I can buy more gear more plug-in or more I don't know food clothes wow I'm legit rambling yeah sorry about that guys but that's real life not everything is pink and glittery and I just want you guys to know that if you're also going through not so pleasant stuff it is totally okay it's getting cold um, Basically, the dilemma is there is an open house I really want to attend next month 17th with RCA, Royal College of Art, because they have the master program called Sound Design and I am highly, highly interested in it and I want to find out more. I could just go because I have friends go there I could just go to this school but you know having an open house it's like a fold-on you get the bigger picture so it's always better to do it that way um, okay it's really cold I'm turning around I don't know if you guys can see it but that's the Okay, never mind, you guys can't see it. Anyways. Oh wow. So from red to yellow, now I'm green. Oh, colorful. Um, oh, and um, the so-called real estate agent, they've been telling me that, oh, I'll help you out and da da. it I even managed to call um, a couple paralegals and lawyers oh by the way if if um, you're overseas and you need to call someone in Canada and the States you can use G talk Google talk and your Gmail to call them for free on the internet so yeah so now you know so that feature has been a real, oh my gosh, blessing in this situation because I will have to, 
call the landlord tenancy board landlord tenants board um, and ask them what's the situation then I have to call the law society for referral and that's just yada 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 and then one paralegal got back to me but it was I don't think I'm gonna go with him because what do you guys think if you need to win a case obviously you have to listen to that person's whole story from the beginning to the end and that person didn't even ask me that he was more eager to ask me to pay him than anything I mean dude of course I'm gonna pay him if he hear me telling him the entire story and at least give me the illusion of he actually understands the, the case he doesn't need to care about the case of course he doesn't need to care about the case come on it's not his case right like i'm not that romantic in that aspect but i need my paralegal or lawyer to fully understand the situation <sighs> But he doesn't. So I will have to look for another one. And it just like, oh, uh, I never realize how. I mean, I always know lawyers are expensive, but I just didn't understand. How expensive they are I guess it's like it's like I don't even know guys oops um, okay now I'm back to red again interesting all right I am going to walk that side I'm gonna go back to the park I like parks so basically yeah I'm not too sure if I want to fly back just for the hearing or I realized I didn't tell you guys the full picture okay so finally here we go last year around december the tenant told me that they want another year of lease and wait is this right or am i lost uh, um, okay okay so and i just pass the information to my real estate agent and then I asked him to take care of it it turns out they in Toronto I don't think it's the entire Canada in Toronto starting um, sometime last year you can only raise your rent for 1.8 percent pretty much that's like nothing right I know but it's fine like it's fine then how come the government will increase your property tax and your building will increase its management fee so you see the whole thing makes no sense and I'm absolutely lost okay I remember this I walked here before This is so funny. It's like wait a second. Where I go? Right? It's like so quiet. Like you just don't see people. <laughs> um and these are completely new buildings. Like I don't know if we can see it. So um, yeah, anyways, I just left the event in Toronto 
and I came back to London to spend Christmas with Heen. And after that, um, I just wasn't too aware of it until... Okay, wrong one again. Uh, until the real estate agent told me that okay. until that um, I was really really scared work out so we might have to sell the place and then I talked to my parents and they we all adore the apartment so we're gonna keep it then I will need to move back to Toronto so that was the plan and yada 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 the tenants I was just really unhappy about it because they were like, what's going on? Like, today you want to sell, tomorrow you want to move back. Okay, to be fair, we didn't do anything that's outside our rights though. You know what I mean? Like, I understand that it might cause them some confusion, but. If I go into a Chanel store and then I say, I don't understand why your bag is so expensive. Does that give me the right to claim a free Chanel bag? I don't think so. So, literally because of this reason, they file a harassment claim. And I'm just like, huh? Life is crazy. Um, 